we had a question. This was from one of my my first, very first vlog. I did a day in the life of a BJJ competitor, and one of the techniques I used in my sparring was a Peruvian necktie. And I actually believed it. Uh, I actually learned it in the uh, Judo Olympics. I watched like a Brazilian lady choke somebody, and then I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. So essentially, it's from the front headlock. So I've got my partner's uh, head and arm like I'm attacking a guillotine. And then I feed my lapel to the armpit hand. So the one that's, uh, the, like, as though I'm setting up a dart trick. So. Can I just say, Edson said thank you. I love my leg locks from you, by the way. Oh, good man, good man. Me, right? <laughs> okay. Great. Drop on your knees. Who was asking about a Peruvian necktie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have your guillotine essentially here, right? I'm going to be feeding the lapel to this hand. This would be where I set up the dart stroke, right? For the, my Peruvian necktie, I feed the left lapel. And this works really, really well because a lot of times you think, oh, well, I can't get my lapel to, to that hand without somebody stopping me. But at the same time, they're staring at the floor and having to defend the threat of the initial choke, right? So all I've got to do is keep my weight on top. I release and I pass this through to my right hand. If you lift your, your head up, Sam. So my right arm is underneath the armpit and then controls onto the lapel. Now all I'm going to do from this point is I push Sam's head down, I step over the back of her neck, and then I enter into my Peruvian nectar. So we have a little hop, get down your elbows. Hop the hamstring <laughs> right over the back of the neck. That's the first check in place. I'm okay, to, Mom. <laughs> to prepare for the choke. The next thing I need to do is step over her back. Because Sam's escape would be to four draw. So as we get to here, I lean to my left side, I step over Sam's back, and now if we twist this way a little bit, you can see that choke. <laughs> All I've got to do is extend my left leg while I pull my right hand back. This is a really dirty choke, but it's very, very effective. There are very few people that I've got this on that haven't then tapped. Ready, sir? Let me show, show the people one more time. Okay. Here, come on over here. <laughs> Great. Let's get, let's get a better view. Oh. Okay, so we've got to the front headlock. We're in position. Oh, my knee just got cracked. We're in position. I've got to my front headlock. I open up the lapel, feel it behind the head, and to my right hand, as though I'm setting up a dart stroke. Okay? You know, a lot of times this hand will be on top of the neck. I'm going to jump up to step my hamstring over the back of Sam's neck. And as I sit down, I step straight over from here, you see? And all I'm doing from this point is I have that grip and I'm just extending my left leg. I'm kicking Sam's head into my choke. So yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a disgusting choke, but it's brutally effective. Did you see that, Leslie? Did you see that? <laughs>